Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on Exodus chapter 5. The Lord has given a command to Moses that he should go to Pharaoh and tell him that the Israelites are to go out into the wilderness and sacrifice to their God. Afterward, Moses and Aaron went and said to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. But Pharaoh said, who is the Lord, that I shall obey his voice and let the people go? I do not know the Lord, and moreover, I will not let Israel go. Then they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please, let us go a three days journey into the wilderness, that we may sacrifice the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. But the king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why do you take the people away from their work? Get back to your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land are not many, and you make them rest from their burdens? The same day Pharaoh commanded the taskmasters of the people and their foremen, You shall no longer give the people straw to make bricks, as in the past. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. But the number of bricks they made in the past you shall impose on them. You shall by no means reduce it, for they are idle. Therefore they cry, Let us go and offer sacrifice to our God. Let heavier work be laid on the men, that they may labor at it, and pay no regard to lying words. So Moses and Aaron go before Pharaoh, and Pharaoh looks at their offer and says, No, you're just trying to get out of work. Therefore I will impose a harder task on you. You will make bricks without straw. He tells them to go and find their own straw. Now, straw is the stock portion of wheat, and once it's been harvested, it does not grow back until next season. So the authorities in Egypt have all the straw there is at this point. The Israelites, well, they're basically looking into the dust of the fields for whatever straw they may have to make as many bricks as they used to be making. So a very difficult ta task, if not impossible, showing the meanness of Pharaoh. We'll continue with verse 10. So the taskmasters and the pharaoh foremen of the people went out and said to the people, Thus says Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go and get the straw yourselves, wherever you can find it, but your work will not be reduced in the least. So this people were scattered throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. The taskmasters were urgent, saying, Complete your work, your daily task, each day, as when there was straw. And the foremen of the people of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and were asked, Why have you not done all your task of making bricks today, and yesterday, as in the past? So you see, when the people of Israel went out looking for straw, all they were able to find was stubble for their work to make bricks, which is definitely not enough. Then the foremen of the people of Israel came and cried to Pharaoh, Why do you treat your servants like this? No straw is given to your servants, yet you, they say to us, Make bricks, and behold, your servants are beaten, but the fault is in your own people. But he said, You are idle. You are idle. That is why you say, Let us go and sacrifice to the Lord. Go now and work. No straw will be given to you, but you must still deliver the same number of bricks. The foremen of the people of Israel saw that there were, there, they were in trouble when they said, You shall by no means reduce the number of bricks, your daily task each day. They met Moses and Aaron, who were waiting for them, as they came out from Pharaoh. And they said to them, The Lord look on you and judge, because you have made us stink in the sight of Pharaoh and his servants and have put a sword in their hand to kill us. Then Moses turned to the Lord and said, O Lord, why have you done evil to this people? Why did you ever send me? For since I came to Pharaoh to speak your name, he has done evil to this people, and you have not delivered your people at all. We see two kings at work here, the heavenly king and the earthly king, Pharaoh. The heavenly king asks for his people to worship him, earthly king, Pharaoh, only hardens the task for the people, even though they ask for a simple measure of going out three days to worship their God. 
We'll see how this builds up until the moment when the Israelites are released and able to go into the wilderness and continue from there to go into the promised land. We'll pick up next time with Exodus chapter 6. And as always, please subscribe to the channel, share this with others, tell them about our web website where they can click on that YouTube button and there find our channel to subscribe to. Thank you.